all right let's see i'm interested because the teaser didn't really give us a whole lot to go off of except for the fact that um we're going back to Erdak, and vega as the father is more than likely actually going to be back which i'm very interested to see let's see give it to me the seraphim That's Hayden. It has to be Hayden. It is him. It has to be. The player has arrived. Woo! I like it. He go rip. He go tear. The uh, the makers. They have to be corrupted makers, that's what I'm going off of. We want to resurrect the only ones who can save this world. Titan! That was a Titan. Are we gonna fight one? Woo! That's a new enemy. This is getting out of hand. I have to hear it. We have been allies for some time now. Mm -hmm. I know you were the moment you set foot in our world. Okay, okay. You set foot in that has to be Hayden, like a different version of him or something. It kind of like it looks a lot more like Hayden's original like exoskeleton design, but like different. Like it has like the gray like the gray um the gray tone the gray color palette to it wait can we play this slow yes we can, can we play it yes we can turn that quality up i think it is hayden i think it is i f like i feel like it has to be him it has to be wait a minute wait 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 what wait what did his head look like again let me let me bring back samuel hayden's like a original thing because it's been a minute since i played 2016 and eternal so i kind of can't really remember off the top of my head like what his head like his design looks like it's him i think it is him especially with the fact that both of them have that little like energy beam like going right down the middle and his armor looks like it's going to have like the same color palette as like um like or at least a color similar to hayden's original exoskeleton from 2016 i'm 80 to 95 percent sure that that the seraphim is hated even though we we pretty much all like were able to deduce that especially with like a lot of hints that were like getting thrown in eternal from that to especially with the seraphim and hayden both sharing similar lines especially with the take it it will give you strength both of them sharing that same line we were kind of able to deduce that but I like it. I like it. I like this design. It, it looks a lot more humanoid too. Like I can see like there's a jaw structure now. This looks like it could be a mouth. This is obviously a nose right here. Like I like it. I like the design a lot. I think we all knew that there was still a whole lot of like shit going down. Like yeah, granted we might have been the icon of sin at the end of Eternal, but there's still a lot, a lot of shit that still has to be cleaned up. Erdak in particular being one of them. Especially now if we pretty much found out that like Vega is the father as well. So I kind of had a feeling that we were going to end up like, going, especially when they said like some of it was going to be like post campaign DLC. Kind of had a strong feeling that we were going to end up going back to Erdak to uh, clean up the mess that we made there, unfortunately. That right there is definitely more than likely like a, a former like maker angel, but now probably corrupted by all like the leftover damage and like demonic energy that was left over in Erdak. I'm going to assume that's what that is, like a corrupted maker, probably. Especially with, like, the fact that the entire skin tone is, like, changed. And it has, like, a much more demonic appearance as opposed to, like, how the makers originally looked. This right here, especially this shit right here involving the, uh, the summoner 
I think what that looks to be is like a somewhat of like a buff or possibly being able to no 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 it, it looks like what it is it's like the summoner is going to be able to like buff enemies now a whole lot more this time around did she buff enemies in 2016 i'm not 100 percent sure i'm not even 100 percent sure if she was an eternal because again the last time i played eternal was when it came back out back around march or so it's been a while since i played it but yeah it looks like she's going to be able to like give a lot of these surrounding enemies a lot more of a buff like a combat buff <laughs> Okay, that last part, something about, I think he said you have to serve the gods yet again, I think? I'm not 100% sure, let's roll that back one more time. Yeah, it, it looks like that for the most part is what, uh, what Hayden's saying uh, around that. I can't really deduce like the first part of it because it's kind of hard to hear with like the music too blaring. Um, I think I heard something about having to serve the gods uh, yet again, I think. Yet again. Yet again. Did we miss anything? Erdak obviously still fucked up from everything that, uh, that happened with the, um, with the con maker during the end of, uh, Doom Eternal. This right here looks like we might? Maybe have some underwater levels? I'm not sure. Maybe? Possibly? I'm not 100% sure. One thing I'm curious about. What is this right here? Okay, okay, okay. I see it now. I see the union. Um, the union text up here and the UAC logos up here. So this is like a UAC, like, what looks to be like an oil rig facility. Why is he here, though? That's what I'm curious about. And of course, just being able to rip and tear once again for the pleasure of it. Um, I feel really shitty that I can't remember that enemy's name. I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue, too. On the tip of my tongue. Cyber Demon. Oh, Tyrant. That's what I was looking for. The Tyrant. I was wondering, like, damn, I have it right on the tip of my fucking tongue. I can't even get it. God damn it. How is the Titan going to come into play with this is what I'm curious about. Because I don't think we're going to... I mean, it looks like we won't be fighting him. Because he looks like... He looks to be the one that's, like, dragging us to, like, a... A, a, a certain location of sorts. With the, uh... The whole, um... Th this next shot after this one. With, like, the Doomslayer on a platform. Like, getting, like, brought up high to somewhere. Yeah, like this right here. What is that? It looks to be of Maker Origin, too? I'm not 100% sure what this is. You can't really... You get a little, like, glimpse of something over here, but not too much. Hold on, let me play it in, like, super slow motion, just to, like, make sure we don't miss anything. Okay, you can't really see what that is. I mean, there looks to be another one of these things, the columns over here on the left side to the right. What is that, though? Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. For all that shit that we got from that one minute trailer. I'm interested. I'm excited. I'm very, very, very fucking excited. This little part right here too, before I go. I'm not 100% certain what this means. This could just be like enemy placement, but this could possibly hint towards like custom arenas of some sort. Because I know that's a thing that quite a few people have been asking for to come to Doom Eternal. Like, being able to, like, create, customize your own arena with your own, like, enemy layouts to put your skills to the test. So I'm interested if they're... if they're making that a thing. Whew! We got a lot. We got a lot from that one minute trailer. I can't fucking wait. Until next time, this has been your friendly neighborhood saying, Peace and Chicken Grease.